and it, it just became an incredibly powerful tool for him to change the conversation they were having. And he's, he's found it's been hugely valuable in moving sales forward for him. Hello, I've got Kean McLaughlin with me again. Welcome back, Kean. Thanks, John. Hey, Kean, I've heard you talk about the importance of marrying up the sales process and the buying process or buying journey. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to elaborate more on that. Sure. So it's really interesting. I, you know, it took me a while, I suppose, in my own sales career to, to recognize the intersection of the two. But it's really interesting that we tend to focus on the sales process, right? What's our process? What are the steps we need to move through? Um, it's a little similar to that earlier discussion we had about, you know, we're focused on the spreadsheet and where the customer is on the spreadsheet and not on the human element of Correct. talking to the customer. Yeah, and, and I think it's, it's fine to have a sales process. And in fact, it's important to have a sales process because we can, we can demonstrate to the customer that, we, you know, we, we know where we're going next. But what we need to realize, and this is unfortunately where many sales cycles grind to a halt is we need to realize that there's a buying process happening in parallel to our sales process and the magic really happens where where those two interconnect so where the steps that the customer is following align with or intersect with the steps that we're following ourselves if the two are out of sync um it it leads to you know confusion misalignment and invariably the deal grinding to a halt so, so have you got this sort of feedback through your win-loss analysis? Is some, was that one of your learnings? Is customer, are customers saying that? Look, they're probably not saying it quite in those words, but what they're saying is, you know, we felt hurried. Uh, we felt they were trying to push us down a, a particular avenue that we didn't want to go down. Um, they were trying to make us jump through hoops or uh, they, were, they were trying to pressure us into, into making decisions before we were ready to. And all of that comes back to the the sales process and we think we're at this step or we need them to be at this step but they're not there yet um, and that misalignment um, leads to all sorts of issues so if you've got a good example of where somebody has done that well well so i i, I don't know if it's a good example but i think it was a, it is an interesting example in that i did some work late last year with an organization uh who were in the technology space and they had a, you know a reasonably large sales team but a lot of those salespeople were quite new, and mm -hmm. many of them had come from the customer side. So they'd used the technology, and they decided, oh, I like this company, and then they went and worked in a sales capacity. So bundles of credibility uh, coming from the customer side, but mm -hmm. very, very little, if any, sales experience. And so what we did was we actually plotted out, okay, this is your sales process, and what does your customer's buying process look like? And we plotted that out as well. And one of the sales team, very, very new, he decided, well, you know, maybe what I should do is just share this with my customers. So he would take in those two diagrams and say, look, broadly speaking, this is our sales process. And broadly speaking, we find that many of our customers, this is their buying process. Where are you at in that phase? Does that represent it? And where are you at? And it, it just became an incredibly powerful tool for him to change the conversation they were having. And he's, he's found it's been hugely valuable in moving sales forward for him. Well, the customer would relate to that and, and, and see that he was interested in where they were up to and working with them and helping them through their process rather than driving our process. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's such a simple thing. What it, what it really said, it, there's a level of transparency which he was providing that normally doesn't exist in a sales cycle where, where he was saying, look, this is kind of how we tend to do it and you know this is how some of our customers do it does that make sense to you is that and they might say yes it does make sense or no actually we have quite a different process and this is the way ours go which is great because now it's giving him visibility and insight and now you're getting that alignment and all of a sudden you can start to move things forward or you could recognize where objections or hurdles exist and actually do something about it so it's such a, a subtle little thing that he did but it, it's been incredibly powerful for him and it's actually something i'm encouraging lots of salespeople to do nowadays i, I tell you that i've seen a lot of young or or inexperienced salespeople, that if you really help them just go out and be themselves and be transparent with the customer, and if they use a tool like you just outlined, yeah. the customer sees that transparency, they see that honesty, yeah. and they see somebody with some value that they can work with, yeah. and, and that, that just becomes that trusted relationship so much more quickly. I agree. Why shouldn't we be honest with our customers? I think it's, it's, it's an incredible tool for tearing down some of the the doubt and uncertainty and mistrust that can exist when we feel like we're being sold to and just leveling the playing field and allowing us to have a conversation like equals so so i think it's a it's a simple thing to do but it can be very very effective thank you very much so the bottom line i'm getting is, is focusing specifically on the buyer process and the sales process marrying the two up yeah and making sure you're working with your customer in doing that and they'll appreciate it, find it very transparent absolutely if you're in step um everything else tends to be much much easier from there Thank you very much, Kian. Great advice. Pleasure, John.